At the very beginning, we have to answer the question, what does IoT mean? What is IoT? The phrase Internet of Things has been used for the first time in 1999 by Kevin Ashton, an RFID expert. IoT is commonly understood as the network of smart sensors, but as we will see, it is much more wider. Let's try to answer our today's question with some definitions commonly used in the literature. We have some standardization institutions that are authorized in technical aspects, so let's start with their IoT understanding. IEEE definition is rather simple. A network of items, each embedded with sensors, which are connected to the Internet. ITUT definition. A global infrastructure for the information society enabling advanced services by interconnecting physical and virtual things based on existing and evolving interoperable information and communication technologies. European Commission definition. The IoT is the network of physical objects that contain embedded technology to communicate and sense or interact with their internal states or the external environment. Some other definitions. They are usually similar, saying about the network that connects different bigger and smaller elements of a variety of functions – sensors, switches, actuators, as lights, motors, heaters, pumps, things. At this point, let's focus on the thing. Again, let's start with the definition. CERP IoT definition of thing. A real, physical or digital virtual entity that exists and moves in space and time and is capable of being identified. Things are commonly identified either by assigned identification numbers, names and or location addresses. In IoT world, the thing is always equipped with some electronic element that can be as simple as RFID tag, active sensor sending data to the global network, or autonomous device that can react on environmental changes. Passive thing. We can imagine that almost everything in our surroundings is tagged with RFID element. They do not need power supply, just respond with the shared message, usually containing the identification number. Using the active RFID reader, we can easily locate lost keys, know if we still have the butter in the fridge, in which wardrobe there is our favorite t-shirt. Active thing. If the thing includes the sensor, it can send interesting data about current conditions. We can sense the environmental parameters as temperature, humidity, air pollution, pressure, localization data, water level, light, noise, movement, and many others. This data, using different methods and protocols, can be sent to the central collector that is connected to the internet and further to the database or cloud where the data can be stored and processed. Active things can also receive control signals from the main controller to control the environment. Turn on or off the heating or light, water flowers, turn on the washing machine when there is level of sunlight enough to generate required level of electricity. Autonomous thing. This thing doesn't even require the controller to implement proper decision. Autonomous vacuum cleaner can clean our house while it detects that we aren't present and the floor needs to be cleaned. Fridge can order our favorite beverage if it detects that the last bottle is almost empty. All these features require many elements to interact. At the beginning, there are sensors that convert the signals from physical world to the digital form generating the data. Data stream is sent through the network and utilizing specialized network equipment like routers and gateways, it is delivered to the IoT broker and further to the database or cloud for storage and analyzing. How does everything is possible? The answer is in following parts of our cars.